to the kitchen, but not for any culinary purposes. I've, I'm here wedged in next to the healing chamber where the grafted tomatoes are currently, um, hopefully recovering, some suffering. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick look at these and show you how they're doing. So there's a couple of patio doors here and they face east. So we get morning sun, it's slightly cloudy today. So we're getting intermittent sun and cloud. So I've still got the shade netting on and they've been in here for uh, four days now, uh, a little over four days at this point. Um, and I will be peeling some of this off later, but the morning sun here through the windows is is pretty fierce so I, I keep them shaded for the morning and as you can see maybe from the lids here all oh, that vent is slightly open um, there's quite a lot of humidity in here for some days I've been misting these regularly to keep that humidity up and this huge amount of water here is actually from the first watering they had yesterday. So uh, the rootstocks were watered a couple of days before grafting, so they were thoroughly soaked. And since then they haven't had any water. They don't need a huge amount at this point. The, 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 there's not a lot of flow to the top growth. It's, it's all been cut off, but yesterday I gave them uh, water on, I, I gave them a little bit on, on two occasions to rehydrate them and well let's take a look and see how they're doing. It's quite warm in here, uh, I've got this propagator set to 24 degrees. So in general I'm really rather happy with these, most of these plants are looking pretty good so these here are I'm pretty confident that these grafts are all fine. There's, there's no floppy foliage here. These two, well, they are borderline. They may or may not recover. I'm not sure yet. Time will tell. I need another couple of days to see whether these are going to be okay. Um, I've got a couple in here that are definitely gone. This sad fellow. That is not going to recover. That graft has failed. I don't know why exactly. Um, I'm just having a little look at it. Oh, it looks it looks like a pretty good join there, but for whatever reason, this graft is not taken, and I, I think there's no chance that that's going to recover. Um, this one went limp pretty quickly within the first day, so... I think something is not happy with that graft. But there are very few plants here that don't look quite happy. I mean, all oh, these are great. I mean, this, this, this is not limp at all. So af after four or five days, it should be pretty clear which plants are, are definitely going to fail and, and which are okay. This one here, I don't know about that. That is a bit droopy but it might still recover, I'm not sure. But there aren't many out of this batch that don't look pretty good. So I'm really happy with this batch. There are 64 plants here. There's, I think, two that have definitely failed. Another couple, maybe, maybe as many as three that are looking a little bit suspect so I think that's a pretty good success rate I'm very happy with that anyway uh, it's it's better than last year at this point and what I'm going to do now is is reduce the humidity in here I will be giving them more light and more air and I think they'll stay here for another few days at least before I move them down to the greenhouse. The coming weather looks like it's going to be pretty warm and quite pleasant so 
Last thing I want to do is move these too quickly down to the greenhouse and bake them. So although the light here isn't great for uh, if you're starting seedlings, you get good light in the morning and then after, after midday or so it, it's, the, the sun has gone round and it's poor. So the seedlings bend to the light and it's not great. But for these at the moment, that's perfectly all right. I don't want too much light on these and I will be still using the shade netting, but it's a process now of sort of weaning them off this um, dark, high humidity, warm environment and getting them ready for life in the greenhouse. We just want to do that a little bit carefully. Any sign of sort of wilting or, or problems, then I can raise the humidity again and, and give them more shade. But it would be good now at this stage to start getting them used to normal conditions. And, and after, I don't know, another three or four days, hopefully, I'll be able to think about moving them down to the greenhouse. Anyway. That's all I wanted to do in this video, just give you a quick look at the grafted plants to see how they're doing. So that's all for now. Thanks ever so much for watching and bye for now.